Hi, in this video we're gonna download the UBC PDK. We're gonna lay out some components and then we're gonna um, be able to run the verification flow with SciEpic tools. So first, uh, one thing you could do is you can pip install the UBC PDK. You can git clone it. So in this case, I'm gonna git clone it. Something you could also do is you could also fork it into your organization. Um, this basically creates a copy of your PDK in your username space. So I could do it, like I'm gonna clone it in my user space. This will wanna create a, a copy of that repository. And then I'm gonna git clone it and then start using it on, on your editor for Python. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go to a folder called demo. I'm gonna git clone the PDK. Uh, ideally, you don't download it with HTTPS because uh, with HTTPS you won't be able to push your changes. So what I'm going to do is going to upload it with SSH. So this requires you to upload your SSH key. So I'm going to do this way. That way, uh, whenever I do git commit, git git add, git commit, and git push, I will be able to to push my changes to the to the remote repository. Uh, so once uh, you're inside the UBC PDK, if you are on Windows, you need to open like an Anaconda terminal and then pip install minus C and this will install the PDK in the uh, as well as GTS factory, which is one of the dependencies for this PDK. Uh, now, once you have the PDK download, you go to VS Code. I have VS Code here and then you can open the UBC PDK here. I'm going to make sure my uh, GF, uh, GF tool install worked. So you could do something like gf tool install, and this basically installs the Klayout integration for the for for GDS factory. So you you may have to uh, open and open Klayout again. Uh, if you have Klayout open again, you can run a, a component. I use the, uh, the 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 run Python file here, and then I can see the the layout of the component. So when you run the Python file, it, the, the code that's here in the if main gets executed. So at the end, I'm going to do t show and then show ports, which basically has this little thing at the port here. So I know where the port, the direction of the port, and where the port is going, and the name of the port. Um, but yeah, this this is no, this is like an abstract layer, so it won't get fabricated. So now I'm going to uh, create a, a, a folder. So you can do part of the of the samples. Or yeah, or you could do it. Yeah, like let, let's create like a, a new component. So we're gonna lay out a, a max sender interferometer. Um, so for that, I'm gonna create a new Python file um, here, um, or so a new file, and I'm gonna do it. Uh, yeah, UPC. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna call it um, mask UPC. Yeah, mask one, and then um, the first thing you need to do is you need to fr uh, import GDS factory as GF, uh, which is going to be very useful, and then you're going to define uh, like the UBC PDK. So you need to uh, to make sure the UBC PDK gets imported from UBC UBC PDK. Components. Uh, you can import UBC components as PDK. Uh, and then I'm gonna make a, an MGI. So the the way GDS factory works, you can watch the PCL thing. Uh, you can define a function that basically uses an MGI coupler called PDK. Uh, I think this is this will be the splitter. I'm gonna use um yeah this is the idiopathic one. I'm gonna use a Y junction. And then you can pass keyword arguments. And then we're gonna do the code GDS factory GDS factory Yes. Uh, 
and then MCI and then splitter equals splitter and then I'm gonna create like an if 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 main and then here I do set MCI and I want to make sure this also gets a name yes cell so whenever I run this we will show it here So import three. Let me see. Um, yes. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I edited and imported this address. I need to GF. Yeah. So here you have your max and enter from meter. So. Um, yeah, pretty pretty easy. The, this this is can be also simplified. So the way I usually write these functions, I use something called partial, which is exactly what we did here before. We uh, here I forgot to pass the keyword arguments. So basically, uh, using partial, you can take a function like gf components mci, and then I can pass a default value that's different. Uh, yeah, why yeah, this one? So this is exactly the same. I can comment this. I'm gonna run again. You're gonna see the same result, but it's a bit more clear what you're doing. Um, here you can always change the default values of the function. So let's say delta length equal hundred. So you can change the default um, delta length of this uh, interferometer. Uh, I think I did a typo here. So whenever you run, this is going to change the delta length of the MCI. So you see in this increase um, back to 50. I think by default it's, it's delta length 10. So you have a 50 here and 50 here. So it adds a delta length over 100 microns. Um, okay, so what we've seen today, uh, we've seen that how to create a four copy repository. So uh, we, we did it uh, by creating a local copy of the original UBC PDK. Then I git clone it. And this requires to, to you to upload your SSH key uh, in, in case I wanna push these changes. And then I show how to use the, the UBC PDK to, to lay out a max under interferometer. Um, thank you.